Hi, my name is Tina Donahue, and today we're just going to make a nice little holder for jewelry, for earrings. A lot of times you can buy all kinds of expensive stuff to hold your earrings, but you know, you can make it yourself very easily just by using a picture frame. And I have this nice um, plastic mesh that you can get in some special specialty fabric stores. You can also use um, the kind of material you do um, embroidery on. I just like this is a little more firm. And then what you do is just you can you can just hand put your earrings right on here, poke them right through, and it looks really nice. What you also can do is that sometimes they might come out in the back. You can put those little um, plastic uh, ends on and that will hold them in place. You can then put them in the stand. You can hang them on the wall. You can take them with you. Pretty much anything you want. So what you will need is, for this case here, I'm going to use a glue gun. For this one here, I used um, staples, which holds them in nice too. But the reason I'm not doing that with this particular frame is because this here, um, the lip here is very thin, so the staples would actually come through. And I also wanted to keep the, uh, the brackets on, so I couldn't staple it on top of this like I did the other one. So the, and then we need a glue gun. We'll need glue, a scissors, a ruler, and the mesh of fabric that you're using. The first thing I'm going to do is take the frame. And usually these are all standard size, but just for the fun of it, we're going to go ahead and measure the opening, which is 8 by 10 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and take my mesh, and I'm going to go ahead and measure it 8 by 10. Now, again, with the mat here, it's really nice because I can just cut across once I find my measurement. So, whoa, just like this. And I have my 8 right here, so I'm going to make sure that Ah, forgot where it was. So three up from the bottom. I'm just going to make sure that it's laying straight across here. Right there. And three up from the bottom. And just because I'm bound to make a mistake here. Right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so right there. I'm going to take my scissors. What's nice about this material here, actually. Okay, what am I messing up here? I'm gonna get in here so you can see it. I'm just gonna cut in. Now I had my cut, and then I can just follow the little line here. You just cut along one of the little lines. And that was my eight. And then I needed 10 tall. So we'll go ahead and measure up to the 10, which is, i try to sneak under here again. There we go. And I can go ahead and do like the other side, just cut in the same little groove. That way you know that will be straight across. A little easier than fabric where you have to Make sure you mark everything. There we go. So now I got a nice little 8 by 10 piece right here. I'm just going to put it right in here. And like I said before, this is where you can go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead. And if you notice here that once I stretch it out a little bit, it's going to be a little long on one side. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut off one little strand here because I don't want it to buckle. That doesn't look very nice that once you get it, the earrings on. I'm just going to cut off one little strand, just slightly shorter. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my hot glue for this one here. And since the glue kind of hardens up pretty fast, I'm going to go ahead and put that in here and make sure I don't burn myself. And I'm just pressing that in. Make sure it's tight. There we go. And now you see how it is here. I'm going to go ahead and just slowly put glue down on both sides, not all the way down, just a little bit at a time because I want to make sure that everything is taut on the way. So I'm just going to go halfway down on both sides. 
There we go. And I'm going to press it into place, one side, and the other side here. That'll be nice and tight. And then I got that far. Now I'm going to go another third down here. Again, probably could go all the way down, but I want to make sure that it's it is perfect or near perfect. And then what you can do if you want to make it a little more secure afterwards is if you want to put a little um, little uh, piece of wood down too on the sides just to hold it tighter. That is fine, you know, whatever works. Now I'm going to go ahead and just get it across here. One of the tricky things about these glue here is always to make sure you get it before it hardens up. There we go. Now there might be some places where the glue didn't adhere away, it hardened up, and then you can always add just a little more glue in the back and just kind of press it down a little bit. And you want to go ahead and just remove the little glue strands. Now this mesh comes in all kinds of different colors. I have it in orange, I have it in red, I have it in black, so you can actually play with it and just pick whatever works out for your frame. And the same with the uh, embroidery cloth. So there, most of these guys are off. And then you have a nice little holder where you can put your earrings in. And see how nicely they just plop right in. And since these have the brackets in the back, you can hang them on your wall. So this is Tina Donahue, and I just showed you how to make a nice little organizer for your earrings. Thank you.